good morning everybody uh, thanks for joining this morning it's good morning here in us uh, i'm sure it's uh, good afternoon in uk and good evening in sri lanka uh, today uh, manohar and ramanathan um, i call him mano mano is going to make a presentation about uh, peace education program and uh, he has uh, lived in uh, canada and but chose to now live in sri lanka so mano uh, as i spoke to you before please give a brief introduction about yourself you know just try to connect with people where you went to school in sri lanka if you have been in sri lanka schooling and uh, then uh, talk about little bit about yourself and then go on to your presentations uh, we are recording the presentation and it will be uploaded into the youtube uh, later on edited version we wouldn't do anything beyond your presentation in the youtube hopefully it is okay with you all thank you You can start, Manoh. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Devarajan. Uh, my name is uh, Manoharan Ramanathan. Uh, currently, I'm in Colombo. I'm speaking from Colombo. Uh, I'm an architect and also married to another architect. And uh, we have been working in Sri Lanka and also have been doing projects in India, in New Delhi, Hyderabad, Pune, Ranchi, uh, maybe Jaipur and also in South Africa, and have been doing few <laughs> interiors in Canada too. Uh, and right now, uh, we are back in Colombo, enjoying our you know, <laughs> time to really serve, if we can really serve the people. And I could see that there is something very important which we have missed you know, in the educational sector. Not only in Sri Lanka, I can see it's internationally it's happening. And we found out uh, from Prem Rawat Foundation that they are offering a peace education program, which has been very effective and also has been able to really uh, respond to many social problems which people are facing, not only social, the psychological problems also. So uh, this uh, peace education program had, is currently, uh, they are doing it uh, in more than 70 countries. And also due to the demand, uh, they have, they are, you know, translating this into more than 30 languages. We have it in Sinhalese, Tamil, Arabic, maybe in so many other languages, which, you know, maybe we don't talk in Sri Lanka these languages. So, <clears throat> and uh, I found, Practically, uh, you know, from the presentation which we are going to do now, that, uh, you know, I was amazed by the response which uh, these children or what, whoever who were going through this peace education, the response which was there, I found the, 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 the content or the product, what we are trying to really, uh, you know, share to people is more than what I thought it was. Because right now, like we had it with the, with the government of Sri Lanka had it, uh, you know, with the uh, prison, pro prison program. So you can see the photographs of those prison programs and also the, the PowerPoint presentation. <clears throat> you can't take videos in the prisons. Uh, the, the initially, the government gave to do it for 100 death row prisoners in Velikata prison. So we did it in the prison uh, for about 100 death row prisoners. And the response was so good that those prisoners wanted us to really, uh, you know, listen to more of it. And uh, the people who were in charge, they were wanting to do another, for us to do another 100 more. So we covered about 400 death row prisoners in Delicata prison. People who are in incarcerated, who people do not want them to be part of the society. And we still, you know, hell with these people. Maybe they should be killed or maybe they should be hung. But those people are also human beings. This is what Prem uh, you know, main topic is, that they are, they are human beings and they can change. So that change can, have, can happen internally and also on their, own, on their own understanding only, not because we are telling you. So this peace education, you can see, it's not something uh, content-based. It's not some information which has been 
given to people and say, okay, listen to it and you know, maybe memorize it or something like that. It is something for people to really think about it, reflect upon it, and also come to their own understanding what that self is and what that peace is in their own life. So this is a practical thing. So we have found, you know, we not only like, you know, it's my uh, this thing, you can see from the video which I am going to show, and there were so many other feedback which I got, which I can't give it in the short time, that practically these people's life was able to change within that 10 days program, which we have. It's a 10, 10 classes on each topic. It's called peace, appreciation, you know, uh, it's called uh, like inner strength, self-awareness, dignity, uh, fulfillment, hope, like 10 topics are there, right? And each of those 10 topics, each addresses a part of us where we can think that this is there in us also. So this uh, particular program, it's been, uh, you can see, mainly from the presentation which I'm going to do right now on the PowerPoint presentation, you can see different types of people have gone through these programs in Sri Lanka itself. We have enough material from overseas, but just to, for you to concentrate and see what has happened in Sri Lanka. The only thing what we need in Sri Lanka is we need this particular program to be used by the public. We have talked to the ministers, to even to be, you know, even to so many people. And this university program also, we have done it for more than three to 4,000 people in Jackson University and found it very effective. So let's, I, without, you know, much, I don't I want to just go into the PowerPoint presentation. And, uh, you know, then you can see, I'll just give you in a short form, what are the areas which this program had happened? And also the feedback, uh, you know, will be seen in the video, which is going to be shown after this PowerPoint presentation. So let us see uh, the PowerPoint presentation. I hope uh, you know my friend she will be able to share it for you all. So you can see the first one. These are the you know, topics which have been covered. Okay, next. This is from the website of Peace Education. The total program has been given what it is and you know, the 70 countries, etc. which I told is there. Next. These are the areas which we have covered in Sri Lanka, the peace education program, but this was before the COVID, right? And currently, currently through the Zoom, it has covered, now I think one of the directors of this, uh, I think Jaki uh, Antwoord, I think from uh, one area, he's here also, he's there, Oman. So that day, we can see this area, the area is fully, lot of people, nearly about uh, 700 uh, teachers have come in and listened on this thing. They, they had breakout rooms and these programs, right? And many areas been covered right now, Trinko, Jaffna, Gatikalo, and also in the south also, in in, 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 in Deligama, in Beruwala, we have covered, and also in the prison. So next. So we have covered this program in the universities, in the training colleges, in youth corps, national youth corps, corporate sectors, and also in the elders. Right? Can be next. So the education sector, you'll go with this. Next. We have done it in the University of Jaffna. So the first step started in 2017, and you can see the children there, and also when they completed the more than seven classes uh, attending. Then just uh, we give a certificate of attendance from the uh, Prem Rawat Foundation. Next. So this was done for the uh, staff of the university or management study staff uh, earlier, and uh, they covered the 10 classes of their courses. Thank you very much. Next one. Then uh, the university, the dean of the faculty from engineering, uh, they wanted this to be done for the first year students, a soft skill program. And 150 students were there. Out of that, about 100 singular students and 50 Tamil students were there. I personally went there and did the program. It was very successful for that program. Next one. That is a letter of endorsement from the faculty team of what uh, the outcome of this, because you know they just don't give these letters unless they really 
effective. You can see the frame has conducted a wonderful peace education program for our fresh students nearly four months ago. It was welcomed by most of the students because, because of its content. This program was held for 10 days with different concepts such as peace, hope, understanding, choice, etc. <clears throat> we are able to we are able to you know, but, uh, see some good attitudes of the students after this program. I don't want to go beyond their so much. The time is very tight. I think next one. Okay. This we had for the staff, the Advanced Technical Institute in Jaffna. The staff did this program. The director is there. He wanted this program to be done for the staff. There are a lot of questions, but there are so many things there. There are some people who said, oh, we know about this. And it's been already talked about in, say, in Jaffna area. What is the new thing which you are talking about? And we had this program, and the same people who were very senior people, they came and said, luckily, we did not miss it. We were able to run through this program. Next. This is we had it in the uh, National College of Education in Jaffna. Uh, these both first two things are from uh, National College. There is uh, some of these uh, children are from uh, both from Tamil and Singhala also. Uh, we were doing it in some time in English. And also, this was in Baunia area. Baunia National College of Education did it. Next. This is we did it the uh, nurses training college uh, school in Waunia. We covered for the nurses because there is a part of which we can call a sincerity and also kindness. These kind of things, just like I was talking to the Devarajan, that this is not only one on personality development, but it covers all many, many areas of uh, human nature is being covered and also for us to develop that with this particular program. Next. The other thing, okay. Other sectors other than the uh, education sector, you can see. <clears throat> then we had it, uh, the second governor, uh, Dr. Suren Raghavan, wanted me to do it in some divisional secretaries, for divisional secretaries itself, but because due to workload and all that, we said do it in secretary's office. We covered three, uh, three uh, divisional secretaries' office. Next. The, we did it in also in the hospital staff. Because for care and all that, I think uh, empathy, all these feelings, uh, the basis is actually peace. So this particular uh, program was done for hospital staff and some doctors were all there. Next. So this, we had it in orphanages. Because there is one question, which was there, and I went to one of the orphanages, he said, we can give so many things. Uh, we can give uh, you know food, the clothes, all these for the children. But what they are mainly missing is that you know a parental uh, love, which they don't get it. You can't and we said we can't replace that. You can't give that. If they miss that uh, uh, care or maybe a feeling of you know uh, a love which they need from. I mean, which they can feel only a mother or father can give. So. We were doing this peace education and we got very good uh, results of this. There is one video which is shown in the last by a child and it's really touches, it really touched my heart because uh, that whether this particular program can help this child like that. So it's not only for university students and for, you know, ex combatants or anything, but this also helps. Because we have right now in Sri Lanka, we are facing this problem a lot of children who have lost their parents are affected and psychologically and sociologically this have to be helped. So this helps. Okay, next. Uh, we did it also in the visually handicapped people in Valvaram. Most of you all may know Valvaram who have been doing it. Mr. Rajendran is there. And uh, when we did this program, once we did once only there, with the young children. And uh, Someone from the south wanted to help because the Mano, you are doing this thing in Jaffna and they are from the south. They said, Can you please? I want to help these children. And they were wanting to give out uh, something, maybe for about, you know, I don't know, a small amount, maybe for you all, maybe 200, 300,000 rupees of hearing aids were given to them for them to take notes. So she, that she's a doctor from Colombo, she gave the money and uh, we just, uh, you know, give it to Raveen Janti, give it to children. Thank you. Next one. 
This is a national youth cooperation, a national youth corp in Atanagar. These are young children, these are single speaking students. We did this pre certification for the uh, children. If the children are people, the young people, you can't tell anything and tell them to do under they themselves understand and accept. So we did it for them and it was very effective. Next one. As for your thing that National Youth Corp, the, who the director recently, about a week back, had called us and wanted just to be have to do the program for his staff in Palambo. So I think we have about, about eight, 98 staff, he said, to do that in Sinhalese. So we may be doing this. is a corporate sector. Uh, we did it in some hotel, hotel staff, we did it, and also some staff from the Palambo. Uh, businessman's uh, office also, they went to this one. This is the last one here is from the hotel staff. Next. So then the other one is the prison program. The minister, the previous minister wanted this to run it in the prisons. The people who are incarcerated, we say, done with these fellows that people say, okay, so we don't want these guys, never to see these guys, or maybe, you know, put them in the jail, or maybe throw them into the gallows, or maybe kill, uh, you know, <laughs> Hang them, but they are also human beings. And uh, uh program has been very successfully uh, done in prisons. And one prison in Hyderabad, you know, the professor who did that, they have by doing this peace edu education program, those uh, those prisoners they did not come back again, and they have closed four prisons in in in, in Hyderabad. And that lady, she's a professor in psychology and also from Osmania University. She is going to do a program if the Japan University uh, staff, uh, you know, very soon. And uh, we had a chat with her. So this, what she did was she used this peace education to the prisoners in, you know, translated in their language. So here in Sri Lanka also, the minister told us to run it and we did it in Vedicala, Vedicala, Bogambara, Paduka, Palegale, Jatna Putin, Gatikalu, Tinkamali, that's all. And I think I remember going into Vedicata prison. Uh, Bogambara, I had gone there. The Jatna prison, another Tinkamali, I have personally gone and met with the prisoners. Now, rehabilitation centers, let's go for that. So, next. So, rehabilitation, one. Main thing is the drug rehabilitation. So, through the government, we were able to go to Kandakari, uh, which uh, some of the Tamil people are saying is Kandankaru. <laughs> so, so, this particular program, we had it. There is a big program uh, organized or uh, set up there for drug rehabilitation. We did 10 classes again for 100 people. And then, due to the response, they wanted another 100 more. Another hundred more, another hundred more, and altogether we did for 400 uh, drug, uh, drug uh, you know, participants to really go through this peace education. We did it in single ways. You can see the people, our staff who are there. They are all doing it uh, voluntarily. We don't charge anything because we want to do something for the community, and so they are doing it. They are all professionals, but they are doing it so that the public will benefit. So you can see this uh, ex combatants. Who, uh, who had gone through the peace education. And when Prem Rawat came to Sri Lanka, uh, he was wanting to meet his uh, children. So the government uh, allowed us to uh, do that because we, without the government, it's very difficult to do us, really reach out to these people. So it was the government who made these arrangements and he was able to talk at so next, next. So this is uh, when we, no, next, before, previous, please. No, previous, previous, previous. Yes, keep it. Now, this one, we have we have it for the ex-combatants there. We have it at uh, Maradang uh, These are regular programs we are having for 10 classes. The, the ex-combatants came at Maradang divisional secretary's office, we have it. Next. <clears throat> now, this is uh, the Jaffna Kacheri, the government agent Jaffna allowed us to have it in his training area. So we had it for ex-combatants there also. Next. This is uh, elders home in uh, Vatukiti Vala in Singhala. So some of these uh, people, you know, people, they, they found, you know, uh, 
Now it's like that. Everything is not gone. You are still breathing and you have time to go. Until that time, there is so much to really know and experience and enjoy life. So because your breath is there. So that aspect is missing in the understanding. So we did it in Vasukitiya in singleness. I was not there, but my colleagues did it. So to next. So this we had it in, uh, I think, in Sandipai or in Telipale for elders home there. And we also found it was done in Tamil. I just give a sample of every different different uh, groups so that you get to know that what has gone there. These people, you know, were so happy. Some of them I saw, it was like, you know, they thought their whole their children are not there with them and, you know, they are totally like, you know, empty. And uh, this particular piece of education in Tamil, uh, it's not, we are not trying to educate them for them to really yeah, It was so much to see that, you know, such a change happened to them. And this will be next. Okay, thank you very much uh, for this uh, whole this thing. And uh, uh, can you stop sharing and maybe we go to the, do you have time to really go into the video straight away or do you all want to really ask something in this? Can you, do you all want to ask one or two so that before I Ma go to the video? Yeah, Mano, I think um, you have gone through where, what you all have done so far, but uh, that I, I'm assuming your video will enlighten us on the exact program nature. Is that yes, yes. Fair, fair assessment? Okay. Why don't we play that? I, I heard that it yes. is 20 plus minutes, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Before the, before the, yeah, before the video is played, I'll let you know what kind of uh, involvement is there. You can see the individuals who have gone through this peace education program from different sectors. Like you can say the universities, university lecturers are giving their feedback. Two, two Japanese university lecturers are giving this feedback. I had University of Moratua also, uh, you know, she's a doctor in psychology. Sorry, she's an architect actually, in the doctorate in archaeology, a counseling officer. Her thing was not actually included in this. And after that, you can see University of uh, University students talking. Then you can see ex-combatants program there, what they are telling about uh, peace education and few people. So let's watch it. And maybe after that, we'll uh, open it up for people. So see if maybe you can share that thing then. Thank you. Everyone can benefit from the peace education program. Happiness has nothing to do with what you have and don't have. Happiness is when you are in touch with yourself. Premier Watt finds a way to explain to us, you don't have to feel what's going on up here, you have to feel what's going on in here. Do you know you? I have done the peace education program and I've gained knowledge about my inner self. And it's amazing to know who you are. Peace education is teaching us how to understand ourselves. The content is important, but the reflections, in my view, are equally important. Prem Ravat actually encourages all of us to see the gifts that we have and to acknowledge everything that is within us. When I say peace, I mean the peace that exists in the heart of every human being. The possibility is about you being content and you being in that peace. There's something about the Peace Education Program that connects you to something deeper and also provides accountability and choice and responsibility for your own life, and I think it's really empowering. Hello everyone, uh, this is Sarujan from Sri Lanka. I am a lecturer attached to the University of Jaffna in Sri Lanka. Currently, I am pursuing my higher studies in Japan. I have been participating in the peace education programs over the last few years. In my understanding, peace is a fundamental need for all human beings. Moreover, it is possible for everyone to feel peace in their lives irrespective of their circumstances. In my point of view, peace education is extremely important for everyone 
especially for the students to bring clarity, positivity and focus in their lives. And also it will help them to shape up their future path in the right direction. It is our privilege to have the peace education workshops at our university. Uh, students from different faculties as well as many faculty members actively participated in the peace education workshops held at our university in the last few years. I should say that uh, the feedbacks and the comments from the participants were very impressive and uh, we look forward to have more peace education workshops at our university and also we look forward to being a part of your future initiatives. Thank you very much for giving us this great opportunity. Frame Rock Foundation in all, uh, Munatapatavari, Nulahanavi, the American Service The government of Sri Lanka had offered us to do this peace education for the uh, ex-combatants. The government are interested in getting the reconciliation part of it done on a national level and the UN is supporting them. We were also having these events in Jaffna University. Initially, there was a question mark in the Jaffna University students. They thought peace, it must be a boring subject, you know. And once they completed, they became so happy about it and they started telling the other students about this peace education. And uh, the second batch, we had 285 who completed the 10 classes of peace education. அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் நான் ரவிசங்கர் சுரேந்திரன் யாழ் பல்கலைக்கழக முதலாம் ஆண்டு மாணவன் 
அமைதி கல்வி திட்டத்தின் ஒரு பொக்கிசமாக இன்று உங்கள் முன் அனுபவங்களை பகிர்ந்து கொள்வதில் அகமிக மனமகிழ்கின்றேன் ஆமாம் ஐயா பிரேம் ராவத் அவர்களால் ஒரு பல்லுடக அமைப்பாக கல்வி திட்டமாக உருவாக்கப்பட்ட இந்த அமைதி கல்வி திட்டம் இன்று பலரது வாழ்க்கையில் பல பல மாற்றங்களை ஏற்படுத்தி உள்ளது என்றே தான் கூற வேண்டும் அமைதி கல்வி திட்டத்தின் பத்து அம்சங்களான அமைதி மதிப்பை உணர்தல் உள்வலிமை தன்மானம் தன்னை உணர்தல் தெளிவு புரிந்து கொள்ளல் தன்மானம் தன்மானம் தேர்ந்தெடுத்தல் நம்பிக்கை மற்றும் திருப்தி ஆகிய பத்து பரிணாமங்களை வைத்து எமக்கு அமைதியின் வலிமையையும் அமைதியின் மகத்துவத்தையும் சிறப்பாக எடுத்து காட்டியுள்ளார் என்றே தான் கூற வேண்டும் ஒரு சிறிய மெழுகு திரியின் ஒளியானது ஆயிரம் விளக்குகளை ஏற்று வைப்பது போலத்தான் ஐயா பிரேம் ராவட் அவர்களின் கருத்துக்களும் அவர்களின் போதனைகளும் இன்று பலரது வாழ்க்கையில் மாற்றங்களை ஏற்படுத்தி இருக்கிறது என்றால் மிகையாகாது என் வாழ்க்கையிலும் சரி நான் இந்த அமைதி கல்வி திட்டத்திற்கு முன்னால் பல இடங்களில் தயங்கி உள்ளேன் பல இடங்களில் என்னை நான் உணராமல் பல செயற்பாடுகளில் ஈடுபட்டுள்ளேன் ஆனால் இந்த அமைதி கல்வி திட்டம் என் வாழ்க்கையில் என்னை பல கோணங்களில் மாற்றி உள்ளது என்றே தான் கூற வேண்டும் அமைதி கல்வி திட்டம் வெறுமனே ஒரு மேலோட்டமாக கற்கக்கூடிய ஒன்று அல்ல அதன் ஆழத்தை உணர்ந்தால் அமைதியை உணர்ந்தால் நாம் வாழ்க்கையில் ஜெயிக்கலாம் என்பதை கற்றுத்தந்துள்ளது அமைதி இன்று பலருக்கு கேள்விக்குறியாகத்தான் இருக்கிறது எங்கே செல்வது எப்படி பெறுவது என்ன செய்தால் அமைதி குடை கிடைக்கும் எவ்வாறு இருந்தால் அமைதி கிடைக்கும் என்று இன்று தங்களை மறந்து இன்று செயற்பட்டு கொண்டிருக்கிறார்கள் தங்களை உணராமல் தன்னை தானே உணராமல் இன்று பல பிரச்சனைகளுக்கு உள்ளாகின்றார்கள் அத்தனை பிரச்சனைக்கும் பதில் எம் மனதினுள்ளே தான் புதைந்துள்ளது அத்தனை கேள்விகளுக்கும் பதில் எம் மனதினுள்ளே தான் புனைந்துள்ளது முதலில் நாம் எம்மை உணர வேண்டும் எம்மை நாம் தேர்ந்தெடுக்க வேண்டும் நாம் தேர்ந்தெடுப்பதில் கவனம் செலுத்த வேண்டும் எதனை தேர்ந்தெடுக்கின்றோம் எதற்காக தேர்ந்தெடுக்கின்றோம் என்று நாம் கவனம் செலுத்த வேண்டும் தன் மானம் என்பது எமக்கு முக்கியமான ஒன்றாக இருக்க வேண்டும் தன் மானத்தை நாம் காக்க வேண்டும் அமைதியின் மகத்துவத்தை நாம் உணர வேண்டும் முதலில் அதற்கு நாம் எம்மை புரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் எம்மை புரிந்து கொண்டால்தான் நாம் வாழ்க்கையில் ஜெயிக்கலாம் நாம் ஜெயிப்பதற்கு அமைதி எவ்வளவு துணை புரிகிறது என்று அமைதி கல்வி திட்டத்தின் வாயிலாக பயன்பெற்றவர்கள் ஊடாக அறிய முடிகின்றது நானும் அதன் பங்காளனாகத்தான் இருக்கின்றேன் என்றேனும் ஒரு நாள் நீங்கள் உங்களுக்கு நேரம் கிடைக்கின்ற வேளையில் அமைதி கல்வி திட்டத்திற்கு சென்று பாருங்கள் பத்து வாரங்களில் உங்கள் வாழ்க்கையில் மாற்றங்கள் பலவாறு ஏற்படும் சிறப்பான போதைகள் ச ஐயா பிரேம் ராவத் அவர்களின் கருத்துக்கள் எங்களது வாழ்க்கையின் ஒளி விளக்குகளாகத்தான் இருக்கிறது என்று நம் இதயம் நிரம்பி இருக்கிறதோ அன்றுதான் உண்மையான அமைதி எம்மை சுவீகரிக்கின்றது என்று அர்த்தம் என்று அவர் கூறிய விடயங்கள் இன்றும் என் மனக்கண்ணின் ஓரம் வந்து செல்கின்றது ஆமாம் தெளிவு என்பது மிக முக்கியமான ஒன்றாகும் நாம் தெளிவாக இருந்தால்தான் எம் வாழ்க்கையில் பல இடங்களில் நாம் பல விடயங்களை சரியாக செய்ய முடியும் தெளிவனை நாம் வெளுத்து ஏனைய விடயங்களில் கவனம் செலுத்துகின்ற வேளையில் தெளிவற்ற தன்மையினால் ஏராளமான பாதிப்புகளை நாம் பெற்றுக்கொள்கின்றோம் ஆமாம் இந்த உலகத்தில் இன்று விலை மதிக்க முடியாத ஒன்றாக அமைதி காணப்படுகின்றது அந்த அமைதி எம் உள்ளேதான் காணப்படுகின்றது அதன் மகத்துவத்தை உணர்வோம் அதனை பெற்றுக்கொள்ள வழி நாடுவோம் வாய்ப்பளித்தமைக்கு நன்றி I am very glad to be a part of this peace education program. I just want to say a few words about this program. This program gave me a lot of experience, especially I discovered my inner strength and I got to realize the truth that is we can have peace in our life because peace is inside of us. That's the big thing. If we understand and realize the truth, it will fulfill our life because peace is a fundamental human need it should be felt from within us prem ravat sir said peace is within us just feel and realize it the drain of peace has come let it drain so that you can transform i like these following lines peace is not that far from us the process of peace is not of creations but of discovery peace education provides hope for a better future for the younger members of society it's not the world that needs peace 
it is people when peoples are at peace the world will be at peace what did participants get from this program in my knowledge first personal understanding number 2 gratitude number 3 feeling empowered before i joined this program i just thought what will i get from this program my friends also thought like that after the bro- program me and my friends discussed about that that time they said it is very useful and amazing and very meaningful the way of your teaching and explaining was outstanding i thank mr prem rawat sir to give us amazing wonderful message really you are playing a good role to keep peace in world we proud of you sir keep going we are with you and we will pray for you sir the peace education program is so applicable to many facets of my life whether it be my professional life my school life my career choices it plays such a huge role and when i think about why it does it's because this program gives you such an invaluable toolbox it teaches you how to really know yourself and provides you with the means to tap into resources such as clarity or inner strength resources that i think are so essential in navigating life this program gave me a sense of hope and a sense of encouragement and for that i am more than grateful i don't have the words to describe how i feel about it the most important thing that i took away from this program is that i am alive this breath is so important this life is so important and i really think it's this appreciation for life that allowed me to extend my appreciation for myself and my appreciation for others another key takeaway from this program is that it's so important to put yourself first and what i mean by that is to really know yourself and put all of these external factors in your life all of these zeros so be it behind you and put yourself as the number 1 because when you do that when you really tap into who you are all of these external factors that seem so big and so scary just aren't that big and scary anymore thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to have access to such a wonderful toolbox first of all i would like to thank the people who bought this program to us on the right time and i am nagmita i am a student of st mary's college adiyandotta peace education program is a media based education program contacted by prem robert foundation i hope everyone has enjoyed this series of program and share their opinions i do enjoy the videos and the messages given in this program in order to lead a peaceful life which is contacted by prem rawat how can i lead during these 10 days why peace is important for our life i am very thankful for this change at last i would like to thank the pews education team for your immense contribution and hard work to realize the reality of our lives and spending your valuable time to space our future thank you once again everyone for this great opportunity thank you what does the word success mean to you i have always had this question that what is success how do we define success is it the fame wealth or the social status which we have so what do we need to do for that how do we overcome that to overcome those challenges we need a bit of introspection to help us with this today we have with us an internationally renowned speaker mr prem rawat on the behalf of whole infosys family all the dcs across i welcome him <laughs> So um 
It's a pleasure to be here this afternoon. Now, what I have to tell you is a little bit different. Because I'm not going to tell you what the new computer coming out is all about, what the processor speeds are going to be available in the next week. I'm not going to tell you how different things in this world are going to happen. But I'm here to address something very fundamental. And what I'm here to address has something to do with you, not what you do. A question was asked by the MC, which is very interesting. How do you define success? What is success? Did you define success? Or did somebody else define success for you? Do you want success or do you want happiness? You see, you know why you cannot unanimously answer me that? Because happiness is what you want. This is what you defined as success for yourself. But success is not what you defined. Other people defined it. But you as a human being, you know what success is, and success is being happy. Being in peace. Being in joy. And that to me my friends, is the business of life. A lot of people say to me, oh, you, you, you just talked, you didn't give me anything. Well, let me tell you what I just gave you. What I just gave you is a key to open any lock that you come across that you want to unlock. That's what I just gave you. I gave you another way of thinking. Whether you take it or not is up to you. Uh, there is uh, one more short video uh, from a child who had gone through this program. If you want to, you can watch it. Or I don't know if the time frame is tight. It's about three minutes or four minutes of the child's thing. I can't hear you. Uh, if it is three minutes, go ahead because we, we are within one hour. Okay. Uh, Steve, you can play the last one also. Please. Thank you. Uh, she's from an orphanage, so the peace education, we did it there also, the child, but she felt she had, she's telling. <laughs> எங்களுக்கு வந்து இந்த இல்லத்துல வந்து பத்து நாள் வந்து கிளாஸ் நடந்தது அந்த கிளாஸ் வந்து அமைதி கல்வி திட்டம் என்ற ஒரு தலைப்புல வந்து எங்களுக்கு நடைபெற்றது ஆனா அந்த கிளாஸ்ல வந்து எங்களுக்கு தொலைக்காட்சி மூலம் வந்து இவர்கள் வந்து பிரேம் ராபத் எங்களோட தந்தை என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய என்ற எனக்கு தந்தை இல்லை நான் எனக்கு தந்தையை அவரத்த நினைத்த நான் என்ற எனக்கு அப்பா இல்லாத வழி எனக்கு தான் தெரியும் அதே மாதிரி நான் அவர் அப்பான்னு நினைச்சபடியா எனக்கு எங்களோட அப்பா இருந்து எப்படி அட்வைஸ் பண்ணுவேரோ அதே மாதிரி வந்து அவர் எனக்கு அட்வைஸ் பண்ணுவார் எனக்கு மட்டும் இல்லை இந்த இல்லத்தில் இருக்கிற எல்லா 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 பிள்ளைகளுக்குமே வந்து அட்வைஸ் பண்ணினவர் இதன் மூலம் வந்து நான் முதல் வந்து எனக்கு நான் சின்னலேருந்தே இந்த கொஸ்டனில் தான் படிக்கிறேன் அதனால வந்து அம்மாண்ட அன்பு அப்பாண்ட அன்புன்றது எனக்கு தெரியாது அதனால அம்மா அப்பாவை வந்து எங்களோட தந்தையாகவும் வந்து நான் இவரை தான் நினைச்சேனா பிரேம் ராவத் அவர்களை தான் நினைச்சேனான் அதனால வந்து எனக்கு பயன்பட்டது வந்து நான் வந்து முதல் எனக்கு சின்னல்ல இருந்து நான் இந்த ஹோஸ்டல்ல படிக்கிறதால வந்து என் அம்மா அப்பா வந்து எனக்கு வந்து புரிந்துணர்வு அமைதி அந்த வந்து சொல்லித்தரையில அதனால வந்து இவற்ற கிளாஸ் மூலம் வந்து என் தந்தை என்று சொல்றேன் நான் அந்த தந்தைன்ற கிளாஸ் மூலம் வந்து நான் ஒரு ஆள் எப்படி புரிஞ்சு கொண்டு நடக்கணும் என்றதை வந்து என்ற எனக்குள்ள ஏற்படுத்தி கொண்ட நான் அதே மாதிரி முதல் நான் எதுக்கு எடுத்தாலும் ஒருத்தர் ஒருத்தர் புரிஞ்சு கொள்ள மாட்டேன் இப்ப எனக்கு ஒரு ஆள் உதவி செய்ய என்று சொன்னா வந்து நான் இப்ப மற்றவர்களோட போய் சண்டை பிடிப்பேன் எனக்கு உதவி செய்யல நான் உனக்கு இவ்வளவு செஞ்சு நான் தானே ஆனா அப்படியான குணம் எல்லாம் வந்து என்னட்ட வந்து இப்ப விலகி இருக்குது அதே மூலமா அதே மாதிரி 
அமைதி என்றது வந்து இந்த உள்ளத்துக்கே இருக்குது முதல் கடவுள் இருக்கிறேர் என்ன வர எனக்கு உதவி செய்யற உதவி செஞ்சிருக்கலாம் தானே அப்படின்னா ஆனா இந்த ஒரு இதயத்துக்கு தான் கடவுள் இருக்கிறேர் என்றதை நான் இப்ப வந்து புரிஞ்சு கொண்டு நான் அதே மாதிரி இந்த இல்லத்துல இருக்கிற ஒவ்வொரு பிள்ளைகளுக்கும் வந்து சில பேருக்கு அம்மா இல்ல சில பேருக்கு அப்பா இல்ல ஆனா அந்த பிள்ளைகள் வந்து இவர் அப்பாவா தான் நினைச்சிருக்குங்கள் என்று நான் நினைக்கிறேன் ஏனெண்டா அவைக்கு அம்மா அப்பா இல்லாத வழி அவைக்கு தான் தெரியும் அப்ப இவர் வந்து எங்களுக்கு ஒரு உன்னதை என்னோட எனக்கு என்ன பெத்தெடுத்த அப்பா மாதிரியே எனக்கு ஒரு உதவி செய்து அட்வைஸ் பண்ணினவர் ஸோ இவர் வந்து நம்பிக்கை புரிந்துணர்வு அமைதி என்ற அமைதி எவ்வாறு அமைதி இருக்கலாம் எங்கள் கடவுள் என்றது எங்களோட உள்ளத்துக்கு தான் இருக்குது எவ்வாறு ஒருவரை வந்து நாங்கள் புரிஞ்சு கொள்ளலாம் என்றதை எங்களுக்கு வந்து தெளிவுபடுத்தியிருந்தார் என்ற தந்தை இதன் மூலம் வந்து இவர் இவற்ற சேவை வந்து என்ற தந்தைன்ற சேவை வந்து மென்மேலும் வளர அவருடைய சேவை நீண்ட கால நிலைக்கவும் அவ தங்களுடைய நேரத்தை பாராது எங்களுக்கு வந்து இந்த பத்து நாள் கிளாஸை நடாத்திய அவரது தொண்டர்களுக்கும் மனமானது நன்றிகளை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறேன் Uh, so that's the end of the program, uh, Devrajan. I don't know you can carry on. Thank you very much for all of you. Sure. Th th thank you. That that was a very uh, touching presentation uh, for personally for myself uh, because uh, we live in Western countries and we uh, what do you call we run through normal life in a, uh, stressful conditions. we run for title we uh, run for money uh, we in the process we lost uh, so much over years right and um, but uh, as we grow we realize what we have done the uh, decisions we made in our life is probably we could have done differently if we get another chance and uh, that your program it's it looks like a uh, align with that kind of a reflection that i am thinking and uh, one of the thing that i noticed is you are doing this uh, program in all, all sectors all levels some schools um, is there a similar program we could do at a primary school level or a little lower than that because we are trying to do this program after things have gone wrong is there a way we could develop this kind of program as part of our early stages of life and education uh, i may like to get uh, someone maybe from this uh, participant to answer this because as a you know peace education facilitator wherever you know people uh, call us we do this program and due to the demand we just uh, you know keep moving on it Uh, there is a director here from Sabragamo uh, area. They have been doing it for schools. Uh, I don't know. Is Roman there? You want to say something on that, Mr. Roman? You have to unmute yourself. Yes, he is. Okay. He is a director of that. Uh -huh. Thank you. So, uh, I know the Sabragamo Maharashtra area. We have been doing it for many years. சிறிய மாணவர்களுக்கு இதை ஏற்படுத்தலாமா என கேட்கப்பட்ட கேள்வி நான் நினைக்கின்றேன் நான் இதை உணர்வு பூர்வமாக உணர்ந்தேன் என்னென்றால் பாடசாலை மாணவர்கள் அதிபர்கள் ஆசிரியர்களுக்கு நான் இதை இந்த செயற்றிட்டத்தை செய்யும் போது அவர்களுடைய பிள்ளைகள் ஆண்டு ஒன்று ரெண்டு மூன்று நாள் உள்ள பிள்ளைகள் அவர்கள் தங்களுடைய கருத்துக்களை உணர்வு பூர்வமாக வெளிக்கொண்டு வந்தார்கள் இதனூடாக அவர்களுக்கும் இது பொருத்தமான கல்வி திட்டம் என்பதை என்னால் உறுதியாக கூற முடியும் ஏனென்றால் அவர்களுடைய பிரதிபலிப்புகள் தங்களுடைய கருத்துக்களை முன்வைக்கும் திறன் தான் முதல் நாள் இரண்டாம் நாள் மூன்றாம் நாள்கள் இறுதி நாட்களில் அவர்களுடைய கருத்துக்கள் அவர்களுடைய கருத்துக்களை காணும் போது எங்களுக்கே புதுமையாக இருந்தது இவர்களுக்கும் இதை புரிந்து கொள்ளக்கூடிய ஆற்றல் இருக்கின்றது எனவே கல்வி திட்டமானது அவர்களுக்கும் மிகவும் பொருத்தமான கல்வி திட்டம் என என்னால் உணர்ந்து உணர்ந்து கொள்ள முடிந்தது இது தற்போதைய நிலைமையில் இது ஆரம்ப பிரிவு ஆசிரியர்களூடாக நான் ஆரம்ப பிரிவு மாணவர்களுக்கு காலத்தை குறுகியதாக கொண்டதாக அவர்களுக்கு சிறிய சிறிய விடயங்களாக இதை கொடுக்கக்கூடியதாக இருக்கும் என்று என்னுடைய அனுபவத்தினூடாக கூறக்கூடிய முடியா முடியுமாக இருக்கின்றது So, next yeah next question uh, if i understood correctly it is a 10 week program on 10 topics 
and uh, how many hours each of these topics goes through? Okay. It is actually, again, maybe I will ask uh, another young man from here. He is a lecturer from the University of Jaffna to mm -hmm. help us. Uh, Sarjan, are you there? Sarjan, I think. Yeah, the book also. If you can tell us, uh, can you put your camera on and say something about the program? How many days? I don't Hello. Know. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, actually, it is a ten days workshop. Um, yeah, so it has. A, we have a ten modules. So each day we will. Uh, carry out our workshop based on each themes. We have uh, all together, we have 10 themes. So each module is uh, related to uh, one theme, like uh, peace, uh, inner strength, self awareness, a choice, and so on. So, uh, and is what it, else? Is it uh, how many hours each day? Is it a whole day? Is it a two hours? Is it four hours? Uh, normally, it will take about one hour. So within one hour, there may be two or three uh, video slots. And uh, in between those video slots, we will ask the participants to express their views or their, uh, their impressions about the program. And also, we will issue a workbook so that they can uh, write down their feelings or their uh, impressions or comments about this program on the workbooks yeah next question is uh, uh, is it uh, currently being done uh, in person or is there a remote uh, uh, lessons also can be done this workshop uh, actually uh, i think manohar and uncle can answer this question no, no, you can hear, but the call is all the US facilitators. Sargon also is not a one man show, it's a team of people who become, you know, it's programs currently are being done by Zoom. Right, done by Zoom. So we are already, uh, you know, like I think Omahan has been this for. Uh, Sambragam over practical areas, they have been doing it for about 700 students, right? I don't know whether you did it for teachers. Woman, do. So, same way we are currently now. Yeah, teachers and uh, principal and teachers and students. Yeah. yeah, so you did. So, but what I can say is that uh, it can be done by Zoom. Currently, we are doing it by Zoom. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you see Divya, uh, Divya, uh, Divya, I think she did the, uh, she there, she's from Toronto. Yeah. Uh, she is a university student from Toronto who attended the programs in Colombo. When we did the program in, in Jaffna, she attended from uh, Toronto and also a few people from uh, Montreal. You know, also, and some young students uh, attended from there. It is possible that we can do this peace education program, and also another gentleman from uh, from Michigan who attended this. So we can get even young, young people to really come into a Zoom and you know make them to just uh, go through this. And, you know. Okay, okay. I think uh, there's uh, Kirtana. She has raised her hand. She want to comment something. Kirtana, you want to say something? Kitana would a internet conjunct uh, course of in the Patanar 
சன்ஸ்கிரிப்டினும் அப்படி உண்மையாவே இந்த வாழ்க்கையே ஒரு புரட்டி போட்டோண்டாக போயிட்டு இந்த பீஸ் எஜுகேஷன் சம்பந்தம் இந்த கோர்ஸ் அந்த பத்து நாள் ப்ரோக்ராமுக்கு முன்னுக்கு நான் எப்படி இருந்தனோ அதே ஒப்போசிட் சைட்ல நான் மாறிட்டேன் முதல் வந்து நான் எந்த என்ன நான் தயா இந்த என்ன நான் அமைதிப்படுத்துறது வந்து எனக்கு சரியான கஷ்டமா இருக்கும் பேரண்ட்ஸோட நான் ஒரு ப்ரீ ஸ்கூல் டீச்சர் ஒண்டியா பிள்ளைகளோட தண்ணீர் பிள்ளைகளோட பேரண்ட்ஸோட என் சக டீச்சர்ஸோட எல்லாம் நான் பழகிறது அந்த டைப்பை விட இப்ப நான் வந்து அவையோட கதைக்கிறது அவையோட மூவ் பண்றது பிரச்சனைகளை சோல்வ் பண்றது எல்லாமே வித்தியாசமான ஒரு இது இருக்கும் இப்ப நான் அது இன்னேற்றம் ஒரு சம்பவம் நடந்தது என்னோட ஒரு ஆக்கள் வந்து சும்மா இந்த அவையோட கதைக்க வேண்டாம் அப்படி ஒரு பிரச்சனை வேறையும் நான் சொன்னேன் இல்ல இல்ல நாங்கள் அவை கோவிச்சாலும் நாங்க போய் கதைச்சுமேன்னு சொல்லி சொன்னா இந்த பிரச்சனையை இதோட ஸ்டோப் ஆகலாம் ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு சமுதாயம் அவங்களை குருவாகும் என்று சொல்லி அது வந்து நான் நினைக்கிறேன் இந்த பத்து நாள் ட்ரைனிங்கும் நான் ட்ரெயின் டாக்டர் ட்ரைனிங் முடிஞ்ச பிறகு என்னில வந்த ஒரு புது அனுபவம் என்று ஏற்பட்ட மாற்றம் சார் இதை நான் இங்க வெளிப்படுத்தலாம் வேண்டி கேட்கிறேன் தேங்க்யூ கள்ளப்பாடல இருந்து தேவையானுடைய <laughs> யாரும் ஃபெசிலிட்டேட்டரா வந்து இந்த ப்ரூக்கத்தை மெட்டை வெளியே கொண்டு போகல இது வந்து சார் அது அடுத்தது அந்த ட்ரைனிங் முடிய ட்ரைனிங் டைம்ல நான் கேட்டிருந்தேன் இந்த மொண்டோ சொல்லியில நான் அதை செய்யலாம் என்று சொல்லி ஹலோ விட <laughs> 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 தங்களை தங்களை தியாகம் செய்தவர்கள் படம் எல்லாம் அதுல இருக்கு அப்ப அவியல் நெல்சன் மண்டேலா அன்னை திரேசா அப்படி மகாத்மா காந்தி அவை இந்த போட்டோஸ் எல்லாம் இருக்கு அப்ப அவையை பற்றி ஸ்டோரிகள் கதப்பினம் அதன் தேண்டு விவாக எந்த ஸ்டோரி ஆகுறதுக்காகவே வந்து சொல்றேன் டீச்சர் வேற வேற நானும் வேற சண்டை பிடிச்சிட்டு பீஸ் போனதுக்கு போய் வருவா எனக்கு <laughs> 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 போயிட்டுறி <laughs> தேவராஜனை
ஒருத்தரும்னி <laughs> வேற யாரும் எதும் சொல்ல போறீங்களே வேற ரெண்டு ப்ரோகிராம் நடக்குது வேற ஆறாம் தேதி டி சர்டிபிகேஷன் வந்து ஸ்டார்ட் பண்றோம் ஆனா இங்கிலீஷ்ல தான் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்றோம் சனி கிழமையில குடிய அப்படின சில பேர் வந்து ஃபாரின்ல இருக்காங்க கனடால இருக்காங்க வந்து ஃப்ரைடே நைட் அண்ட் டே கனெக்டட் இப்ப லாஸ் ஏஞ்சலஸ் இருந்து லாஸ் ஏஞ்சலஸ் சான் டியாகோல இருந்து கொஞ்சம் பேர் வந்து வேற அதே வந்து நைட் அண்ட் ஃப்ரைடே நைட் அண்ட் are young people they want to join it so there is a friday night and a saturday okay the saturday the you know, saturday morning 8 am and sunday morning 8 am rent class structure adhe mari every weekends we are having it adhe mari enamoru group konde vechirukkaram i will pass the message to devarajan adhe if someone yara kolavana poringa vendal they can register and attend the 10 classes 10 weeks and illa sinathila adha 2 weeks ve mudinjidu சொல்ல <laughs> உள்ளடக்கிற நேரம் கோ கரிக்குலம் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ்குள்ள தான் நான் என்னுடைய ஜோனல்ல நான் இதை செய்யறது அப்ப கோ கரிக்குலம் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ்ல ஒரு பார்ட் ஆஃப் பார்ட் ஆஃப் த கோ கரிக்குலம் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் ஆக இதை செய்யற நேரம் சோ மாணவர்களுக்கு எங்களுடைய பீஸ் எஜுகேஷன் ப்ரோக்ராம ஐடென்டிஃபை பண்ணி கொடுக்கக்கூடியதுக்கான ஒரு சந்தர்ப்பத்தை ஐடென்டிஃபை பண்ணிருக்கிறேன் நான் அது ஒரு பார்ட் ஆஃப் ஸ்கூல்ல பார்ட் ஒரு பார்ட்டா எனக்கு கொண்டு போறதுக்கு வெரி ஈஸியா இருக்கு பிள்ளைகளுக்கும் அதை ஐடென்டிஃபை பண்ணி கொண்டு போகக்கூடிய அதாவது பிள்ளைகள் தன்னை உணர்ந்து அதுக்குள்ள என்னக்கிட்ட நாங்கள் ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட டைம தான் ஒதுக்குறோம் அதுக்காக வேண்டி இப்ப எங்களுடைய இந்த பீஸ் எஜுகேஷன் ப்ரோக்ராம எங்களுக்கு இன்வால்வ் பண்ணி ஒவ்வொரு சமூகத்துக்கும் கொண்டு போறதுக்கு ஒவ்வொரு நபருக்கும் கொண்டு போகிறதுக்கு ஒரு ஒரு வேயா நான் யூஸ் பண்றது என்னன்னு கேட்டால் இந்த பீஸ் எஜுகேஷன் ப்ரோக்ராம் எங்களுடைய கோ கரிக்குலம் ஆக்டிவிட்டிஸ் ஸ்கூல் அதுல ஸ்கூல்ல உள்ள எஜுகேஷன் செக்டருக்குள்ள இதை நான் யூஸ் பண்றேன் இது உண்மைக்குமே எனக்கு பிரதிபலிப்பா நல்ல ஃபீட்பேக் இருக்கு ஒவ்வொரு மாணவர்களிடம் இருந்து நல்ல ஃபீட்பேக் அவர்கள் ஏற்கனவே இருந்தது இப்ப இருக்கிற முறைகள் எதிர்காலத்துல அவர்களுடைய டிசிப்ளின் சைட் எல்லாமே ஒரு நல்ல ஃபீட்பேக் ஒண்ணு எங்களுடைய ஜோனல் வைஸா இப்ப நான் அதை ப்ரொவின்சியல் வைஸா இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணி கொண்டு இருக்கிறேன் இது ஒரு நல்ல ஒப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டின்னு நினைக்கிறேன் எல்லாருக்கும் நீங்க சொல்றத பார்த்தா அந்த நார்மல் டே டு டே பள்ளிக்கூடங்களுக்கு அத அந்த விடயங்களை சொல்றதுனால வேண்டி அவர்கள் இதனோடாக அந்த விடயங்களை பெற்றுக்கொண்டு இந்த கிளாசஸ்ல பங்கு கொள்ற எண்ணிக்கையும் கூடி இருக்கு inform oh, okay. okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 okay. yeah. okay. they will join the classes ah yeah 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 okay okay thank you thank you i think uh, or oru therum idu varaikum kai vetha illa 
they did not unmute themselves to speak so ningal menu ningal kuda the detail potirundhingal akuma chat box la ninga vandu i don't know uh, can you uh, can someone link it's the whatsapp plan is on the saturday sunday program man give me one second எல்லாம் <laughs> okay thank you so much manav and team uh, you all did a good presentation valke ki thevai mukhyamana vishayam nagala kettittu thirumba palaya routine ke poiradha koodiya or thanma irukku adu epdi adu mudal ullukla verra endra da nam main thing idula padichu thanks again ha thank you thanks for your time Pre- appreciate it okay thanks everybody we are joining the meeting huh? yes